we like to tour in our motorhome, but we also like to rest. And we come to Alania Costa Blanca because it's a great place to rest. One of the main reasons we come here also is the facilities. There's a supermarket, a hairdressers, a gym, a spa, bar, restaurant that has entertainment three and four times a week. The toilets and showers, there's laundry, dog wash, you name it. It's got just about everything all on one place. When you look, see the pool behind me here, the Tahiti pool, this is what you'd expect in a hotel, not necessarily on a campsite. You can also hire bikes from here. We've got friends um, that winter here every year that we come and visit. You can hire cars, you can play te paddle tennis, tennis, football, basketball, um, golf, all sorts of sports, um, including pub games, there's a kids club, there's just about everything that you need here. Camping Alania, formerly known as Camping Mahal, is a place that we're very familiar with. We've been coming here for several years. In fact, the first time in 2017, we had a caravan. And we stayed all winter and had a great time and met some friends that we're still friends with to this day and meet annually. The pitches are very wide, very well serviced, with water, grey waste, electric, broadband, and a telephone point with some channels in English all on the site. Different size pitches are available, but they're all good in size. This is a big site for sure, but you never feel crammed in here. There are many toilet blocks, shower blocks, washing up areas, all with their own washing machines and even dog washing facilities. There are sporting facilities, walking football, tennis and paddle tennis. Apparently it's the second most popular sport in Spain, after football of course. Biking is pretty essential here if you've got bikes. It does enable you to get around the locality and it's a really good way to explore. The bikes can be used to visit the local towns and other areas around the site itself, which are really interesting to visit. They also enable you to go into the village of the supermarket. Although there is a supermarket in the resort, there are bike routes both on-road and off-road that take you to the coast, where you can go and have a fish and other types of food on the seafront. This kind of holiday for us may seem a little bit different if you've watched our channel, you're aware that we regularly roam. But we do like to stop for two or three weeks on every tour and just have a traditional type of holiday. And this really does it for us. Although I have to say, I don't go in the pool like Helen. It's freezing. The local village is Catral. It's a local town where ordinary Spanish people live. It's not a tourist centre and it has a vibrant Saturday morning market. Its produce is local, cost effective, and really good quality. Especially the nuts dance. What can I say, we eat a lot of nuts. We enjoy having a coffee around the church square. One of the things you can do from the site is visit El Hondo Nature Reserve. It's only a short walk or bike ride. El Hondo became a natural park in 1988 and it covers over 2,300 hectares of area. It's predominantly wetlands and in the lagoons you can see a diverse um, or a rich variety of fish, eels, but it's predominantly the birds that people come here to have a look at. Now if you're an avid twitcher you probably know what you're looking at, but if not, in all the hides and observation points there's these marker boards here that will point you in the right direction. Also on the site, there's a visitor information centre. And you, if you don't want to look at the birds, you can run round here, you can bike round here. There are a number of waymarked routes, a couple of which are accessible. It's also dog friendly, and your dog can come on here as long as it's on a lead.
We visit this place daily for dog walking, running and cycling. And a lot of the off-road routes that we use go through and out the nature reserve. It's level and flat, there's no uh, difficult riding conditions, but perhaps a hybrid or a, um, a, a bicycle that's used to riding on tracks would be more suitable to one that's dedicated to the road. There are options for public transport. Car hire is available here, as well as bike hire for that matter. And the bus service will call in and pick you up and links you between the site and the towns of Crevalente, Elche and Alicante. Once into Alicante, of course, the high-speed rail network opens up to Madrid and to Barcelona. There is a local network too of, of uh, operation a rail service between Alicante and Murcia. Now, Murcia is a really worth a visit. And so this, this local station, which is about four miles from the site, either accessed by bike, or you can walk it, or you can get a taxi. Well, a bit of luxury is a great thing. We don't mind a bit of five-star camping, to be fair. I'll put up with it for a little while. <laughs> and it's uh, it's pretty good. I mean, we've been on a couple of good sites. Obviously, the previous video was from uh, Camping El, yeah, but Camping El Torres. Mm -hmm. That's a good site. Villanova is a good site on the way yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, the rest were airs. But um, it is nice just to drop out for a little while, just chill out. It's sometimes touring can be quite uh, quite tiring, tiring, and it helps you yeah. recharge. So we, yeah. we enjoy that. Horses for courses. We like a bit of variety. And we come here, as we said earlier on in the video, every year for a little while, see some old friends that have been coming here for years as well. It's been pretty cool. We enjoyed it. But it's time now to get back into real Spain. It is. Trying to go and look at some more history, some more culture, and exploring some of the more different areas a little bit off the tourist trail. Yeah, it shows really why we think this is the best country in the world to visit with a motorhome in Spain. Uh, people will have a different opinions, and that's fine. Um, it, that's what makes the world go round. But yeah. uh, for us... Um, there is an awful lot more to Spain than sunshine and sangria. sangria. We're hoping to show that to you yes. in the next few videos. Yes. So stand by and stay with us and thanks for watching. Martin out. Helen out. <laughs>